What's up YouTube? Look what I found at the recycling center a few days ago. Um, this IBM PS1 computer. Um, it was sandwiched in between a bunch of Pentium 3 and Pentium 4 computers and I just spotted this one. I seen the PS1 logo and I knew I had to get it. Um, it's a PS1 Essential. Pull it down, you can see the specs on it which is a 486 SX 33 megahertz processor with 253 megabytes of hard drive space and four megabytes of RAM memory, but it was upgraded to eight. This is the five and a quarter, five and a quarter inch floppy as the B drive and the three and a half floppy as the A drive. I have it connected to this um, Dell monitor from the early 2000s. And I'm gonna be using this keyboard I had laying around for a while. I found it, uh, I don't know, quite a while ago at the swap meet for five bucks. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's completely wood, it's extremely heavy, but yeah, I love these mechanical keyboards. The sounds on them. So yeah, I'll be right back with the boot up. We're gonna see how this thing runs. Okay, we're going to boot it up in three, two, one. Let's do it. It's starting up MS DOS right now, <clears throat> but it's going to go into Windows 3.1. Is that PS1 logo? There we go, Windows 3.1, copyright 1992. Okay, let's see what we got. Check out some of the tools. Let's see, date and time completely accurate. I swapped out the battery. I think it was originally saying it was 2000, but um, swapped out the battery, put a new time. I had it unplugged for a while, so the battery I put in there is working. So, yeah. Close that out. Pull up some system information. The processor. No math code processor, but I would want to get one though. That'd be nice. RAM, eight megs of RAM. View controller only 512 kilobytes. Got the resolution right there. VGA 256 colors. Drives. Um, ports. System software. Um, kind of got your run of the run of the mill. Microsoft Windows games on here as well. Nothing really special. Check those out real quick. Got um, Solitaire. Yeah. Let's close that out. We got Minesweeper. That looks like. I'm surprised it has basically Windows Media Player. It's the grandfather of Windows Media Player. I can't use that though, sadly enough. We got um, calculator. Let's see. Two plus two is four, so calculator works. Got paintbrush, which is basically Microsoft Paint. You can draw stuff. Not good at drawing on here.
I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was trying to draw Sonic there, but yep. So let's get out of there. Oh, I don't want to save that. That looked horrendous. Um, got the clock. Better way to look at it, I guess. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Let's see, PS1 information. PS1 tutorial. Let's check that out. See what that's all about. Windows lessons. Let's see what that is. Introduction. Introducing Windows. Huh. It's pretty interesting. Let's see. Using a mouse. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I think that's about it. Nothing really special here. Um, Come on, open. The index. Um, Microsoft Works tutorial. Interesting. <clears throat> Using a keyboard. That is like page demo. The heck? This is funny, it's teaching you how to use a keyboard. Well, enough of that. All right. Exit tutorial. Uh, computer basics, let's see what that's all about. Huh, interesting. More things to tell you what it's all about, I guess. Computer. Basic parts. Uh, got you got DOS on here as well. Go to the DOS prompt. You got all your files there. Set windows. Let's go to the DOS shell, see what that's all about. See, this is the file I was trying to get up when I typed into DOS view IBM TXT. I don't know, it popped up before I made this video, but it didn't pop up now. I'm still learning the ropes with DOS. I didn't use DOS that much. 
when I was a kid, we used the Windows 95 and up. We, uh, I barely used DOS back in the day. Because you can say I was a 90s kid, grew up in the 90s, so. Yep. Let's exit. And yeah. I think that's about all I to show you guys. put in a floppy just for the heck of it. I haven't really got any floppies with any games or anything really going on with them, so this is just a floppy test. It's not really, um, wait, actually let me show you what I'm putting in first. I found it inside the system itself. It says, grass sim with mass chip, I don't know. It's just some random disk that was stuck in the system when I found it, but let's try to give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Did it find it? Yeah. yeah. It found it, so EX. I don't know if you guys can hear the floppy drive kicking up, but it kicked up. Um, yeah, no, I don't know what that is, so. Alright. But until, but that's about all I gotta show you for today. But until next time, YouTube, thanks for watching.